Welcome back. In this segment, we will discuss two special drawing operations, reverse drawing and ironing operation. So first, reverse drawing. The process of inverting a shell and drawing it inside out is called reverse drawing. So here we are having a shell that was made using deep drawing process and we have placed it in inverted position onto a die. And you could notice here that we are holding this shell with the help of a blank holder to control the flow of this shell into the die. And we need a certain uh, redrawing force, in fact, a reverse drawing force to perform this operation. And what was the outside of this shell, that is the surface where the punch is contacting the shell, will become inside of the reverse drawn shell. And what was inside of the shell, this surface will become outside of the new shell, that is this surface and outer side of the walls of the new shell. This process looks similar to a redrawing, but it is different than that uh, in terms of positioning the shell onto the die. So in redrawing, we had a shell that was drawn and we performed redrawing operation to increase the height and decrease the diameter of the new shell. The same is happening here as well. So we had a diameter and a height of original shell and we are having a diameter and height of the new shell and this new diameter is smaller than original diameter and new height is greater than original height but we are positioning the uh, already drawn shell in inverted position and drawing it inside out. So outer surface become inner and inner surface becomes outer. And the purpose is to remove wrinkles and to make the walls of the new shell uh, more smooth. So we will see this uh, process with the help of a video. So the first part of this video shows the conventional deep drawing process. So you could see a circular blank that has been placed onto the die. And we have a blank holder of a, a ring shape that will hold this blank from its periphery and then this punch will descend and perform the drawing operation. So blank holder has held the blank into position and this is the drawing punch that is performing the drawing operation. So blank has been placed onto the die. This is the blank holder and this is the drawing punch. So you could notice the die opening here as well. So you could visualize that we need to calculate the exact diameter of this blank to, to, make, this, uh, to make the shape that we are making. And the press that is being used is a double action press. So one of the rams is actually actuating this blank holder and the other ram is actuating this punch. And the die that is being used is conventional die. So we are having punch that is moving from uh, upward that is in the upward orientation and we are having the die that is in the downward orientation. So that is the conventional die. Punch at uh, above orientation and die at the, at the bottom. So again, the blank has been placed, blank holder has held the blank from its periphery. So that is the first ram that is actuating the blank holder and the second ram is actuating the punch. So it is a double action press. So you could see the same cycle again. Now from this onward, we are having the reverse drawing process. So the drawn shell is placed in the opposite, in the inverted orientation onto a new die. And this blank holder will hold this shell from its periphery. So it has held the shell from its periphery. And now this reverse drawing punch will perform the operation and you could see the smooth walls of the new shell. And you would see that the height of the new shell is greater than this original shell and the diameter is smaller. So you could see the 
height has increased, the diameter has reduced as compared to this original shell. So this is again the same press, a double action press is being used. And again, the die in this case is also conventional. So we are having punch at the top and die at the bottom. In an inverted die, it is just the opposite. The die is at the top and punch is at the bottom. And in inverted dies, actually, this is the die that moves downward and punch is stationary at the bottom. So that is something we will see in one of the following segments. So again, you could see that first blank holder held the um, shell in position and then punch performed the reverse drawing process. And again, the greater heights of the new shell as compared to this original shell. This was the height of the original shell. This is the height of the reverse drawn shell. This is the diameter of the original shell that was greater as compared to the new shell. So in that way, it is similar to redrawing process, but the orientation of the shell when it is being redrawn is inverted. In the next segment, we will see the ironing operation.